السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته second year students this is our fifth lecture in Novella now we we are at the close to the night of third day with Santiago struggle with the Marlin this is the third day and we are about to uh, or close to up to the night okay what happened last lecture we stopped here i think uh, we he can be talking about uh, the great dimigio uh, the player the baseball player and he tell us the story of this player and how far this player is similar to his own uh, circumstances so what do we have later on is that uh, now what do we have now he is talking about what uh, after this uh, talking about the player he is going to talk uh, he is or uh, watching what an airplane in where in the uh, in the sky here uh, this airplane go to Miami and uh, he watched the shadow of this and what what uh, is the uh, any, the significance of this that he is uh, questioning himself whether how the sea looks uh, from above and if he is from out of the sea not he is in the uh, boat and making the trip in the sea no if he is uh, in the world in the uh, plan how the uh, ship or how the sea looks like here what do you find in this uh, story uh, here that uh, this uh, uh, to give you an idea that the judgment about the struggle from outside, for example, how the struggle is looking, but from the outside. For example, now we are as a reader for the struggle between Santiago and uh, the Marlin. What is our appreciation for this struggle? We ourselves said that his, uh, this old man pushed by his bride, and we study the bride uh, in two different ways, and we have different uh, views concerning the, this boy. What about Santiago? Santiago is within or uh, within the struggle itself, but he looks that it is his own job, this is his own, to improve his own dignity and so and so. Uh, so the appreciation about the things is different, whether you are uh, as part of the, uh, this thing or you are outsider, just uh, you are from outside. So here this is the idea in the story of the airplane. Now we went to observe the struggle but from the outside and uh, I think this is the idea about this story. Uh, then he is going to talk about his own self that he has uh, and his own sufferings and difficulties. He is thirsty, hungry, alone. He went to sleep because he in need for this to sleep because to take a rest. He is an old man. We don't forget this. And uh, there is a dolphin. He is going to eat the dolphin but he uh, said what I'm going to postpone it or make it to the next day in order to keep my strength to the struggle of the next day which is the fourth day okay now uh, look how he talked to the what to the marlin itself how do you feel fish he asked aloud I feel good and my left hand is better and I have food for a night and a day pull the boat fish so here uh, he, this is optimistic vision or optimistic view. He always want to be optimistic. For uh, he want to be positive always. Why? Uh, he feel. Uh, he said. He said. I feel good. Actually, he is not good. He is tired. He is alone, hungry, thirsty, and his left hand is wounded. But he is what he is trying to be optimistic as much as possible. And what? He went to make this image for himself in front of his enemy, uh, in order to what to uh, make his enemy afraid him. Uh, this is the idea here. Also, he make a plan that he uh, that the fish is going to feel tired, uh, hungry, and going to what to jump and is going to throw it by his harbor. Actually, the battle is going. It is near to its end. Yeah, the battle between. Santiago and the fish is going to end whether this day or in the next day but let's look what is uh, happening uh, later on uh, actually this is he did not true uh, look to the narrator what he said he did not true feel good because of the pain 
Uh, yes, Santiago is wounded in his hand, and his left hand is not fixed uh, till now. He is trying to wash it in the water of the sea in order to make the uh, injuries stop or uh, what uh, to fix them. Uh, this is what do we have here. Despite all these difficulties, he tried to uh, and he gathered himself and uh, uh, arrange uh, himself in order to appear in optimistic vision to control his own self. Also, we should not forget that in the last lecture we talked about so many things, especially that uh, Santiago is similar to the Christ, Jesus Christ, and this is very important, students. Yes, Santiago has a Christ figure or similar to the Christ in so many uh, different occasions. In the story, we meet Santiago as what? As a Christ, uh, similar to this uh, prophet. We here. He is wounded, even the Christ, he is wounded, but never stopped, never in, uh, giving up. Means I mean the Christ, even when he is wounded, he is still completing his struggle against the evil. This is the uh, also Santiago, never stop, never, never give up. Actually, this is connected with what also? Connected with the concepts of heroism and manhood. Uh, and the idea of the heroism here, of course, the hero, we don't mean the tragic hero, the traditional tragic hero, as we study in drama last year. No, heroism, this is modern hero. Santiago is a modern hero. In what way? He is a hero in his behavior, in his treatment with others. He is a hero uh, in his duty. Uh, also, he is hero that in the point of weakness within his personality, which is what? Which is the pride that pushed him to enter to the struggle. Also, uh, but he is different from other, uh, and I mean classic hero, because we know that he is a classic hero from noble family, he is associated by his uh, people and soldiers and the castle. But here we have what? We have modern man, modern character, which is a isolated figure, alone and always suffering from the loneliness. This is the uh, modern character, and here Santiago, Together, and if I ask you what kind of character is Santiago, Santiago is modern figure, modern character. At the same time, he is a hero. He is a modern hero, mind the very tragic. He is a modern hero, not a tragic hero. He is a modern hero in a way that he is a isolated figure, always suffering from loneliness, uh, and what, and uh, always he is mocked by others. But at the same time, there is a heroism in his behavior. Manhood and heroism are closely related. Students focus on those two concepts. I made them uh, in the file, read them uh, fully, uh, students. Uh, the most important thing in the struggle is not the result of the struggle, rather than what the fighting itself. Completing the struggle till the end. This is the aim of the struggle, not the, uh, whether يعني, Santiago get the marlin or not the, get the marlin, this is not the aim of this man. His aim is what to improve for all the people that he have ability of fighting. This is the idea of what of uh, the struggle with the marlin. Here in this paragraph, what do we have? It was dark now, become dark quickly after the sunset and September, and so he talked looking to the stars and describing the stars as distant friends. Yes, uh, distant friends, let, let me read this distant friends. The fish is my friend too, he said a lot. I never seen or heard of such a fish, but I must kill him. I'm glad we don't have to try to kill the star. But I look here, I must obligate himself to kill the fish. Uh, he described this, uh, the star as his distant friends. Actually, it is a sort of what of nostalgia. He is yearning for the past. He went to come back to the past to meet his old friends when he is a young. Uh, he, the fish is also his friend, but he is going to kill his friend. So this is uh, what flashback technique or something uh, as a nostalgia. Want to come back to the past and meet his old friends. Uh, because he is now dominated by the loneliness. Uh, also, look to his, I must kill him. Now, this is uh, what uh, his uh, plan, uh, let us say, that uh, he doesn't say, I will kill him. No, I must. He is going to what? He is going to ob obligate himself to do 
this uh, thing again what do we have here then he was sorry for the great fish and uh, that had nothing to add and his determination to kill him never relaxed in his story for him now what do we have that he is uh, and he considered the fish as his friend but he is sorry for his friend he is considered the fish as what as his uh, own uh, computer let me say or enemy but he is sorry for his enemy again here we have a Christ figure Christ figure why because even the Jesus Christ uh, what uh, feels sorry to, uh, about his enemy also he feels sorry about his the poor people who are still hungry and don't and they have nothing to eat and uh, he is uh, what Christ also still wanted you know in his body but he never stopped to helping the others and never stopped his conflicting with the evil uh, and bad people. So, so many, as we said, so many occasions we have similarity between Jesus Christ and Santiago. This is an important point. What, are, what do we have in this very graph? I don't understand these things, see that, but it is good that we do not have to try to call the sun or the moon or the stars. It is enough to live on the sea and kill our true brothers. So, what he said here. Uh, before this, he described the stars as his close friend or distant friend. And uh, what he said, it is good that we could uh, not, we don't kill uh, the moon or the sun or the, our friends, distant friends. But we are going to live on the sea and kill our true brothers again reference to the brothers killing to the brothers it is really just illusion uh, uh, referring to the uh, story from holy books or the bible or quran that uh, of adam's son also it is political reference not only religious reference because killing our true brothers this uh, this is the man of 20th century because of the world war first they kill each other and uh, there is uh, no sense of what on uh, brotherhood between them so uh, the blood everywhere in those countries does uh, participate in the first world war this is an important idea also uh, what do we have also after that he feel uh, himself that he is very tired and he went to get a rest to went to sleep not sleeping is not a good idea because he is going to feel dizzy or something like this uh, and he, he means he is very tired and so he fell asleep of course uh, uh, he saw a dream at the beginning he said he didn't dream of the lions but instead of the first schools uh, that he uh, dreams of what dreams of his schools in the village his bed in the village his, yani, when he is young so he dream of his past life again this technique flashback technique this thing, uh, why he used this uh, yeah, and dream to what always escaping from his harsh reality to the heavy bust uh, as comparing between what between present harsh reality and bust uh, heaviness uh, then after a while he saw another dream with the same uh, it is this time of land dream of a village and the dream of lands any reference to the land means reference to the strength he went to come back to his old uh, strength when, uh, when he is a young of course if he, he has this strength he is quickly yani, overcome what overcome this uh, fish I mean the uh, marlin uh, now in this paragraph what do we have he walk with Jack and the, yani, I, uh, the fish make a sudden movement and or sudden jump and what and uh, again endure or cut, uh, cut his what his left hand again that left hand th this is the second uh, time it is wounded again so again this is a direct struggle between the two and yani direct meeting between the fish and Santiago also this is a direct it is a reference to the Christ uh, because the Christ is what is wounded by his own people so many times he is wounded by his own enemy so many times but he never gave up he never stopped his struggle he endured complete his struggle or his fighting till the end this is the idea that is found in those uh, paragraphs 
uh, as you see students it is not a new يعني new information these are all the all of them are repeated information يعني the stories for example are similar but the uh, meaning of these stories or sub stories are the same the, the writer went to focus on the idea that this man is a hero figure is a Christ like figure he is what he is struggling in a hero way and never stopped his struggle this is the idea of these uh, details uh, later on he could control he control the uh, situation that uh, he still hold the fish never escaped from him and never overcome him but he what he he went if the boy was here he would with the cause of lion he thought yes if the boy were here if the boy were here what do we have we have the boy motive and we know what do we mean by the boy the boy is his own hope the boy is his own dream to achieve the boy represents to his own youth himself but what do we have uh, he don't say uh, I wish the boy here no he said if the boy here as if he is near to achieve his own dream or as if he is very tired because he stopped uh, wishing to have a, the boy but he necessarily or badly want the boy to be with him actually he is very tired uh, the I mean the struggle with the fish is near to the end to its end this is the idea of uh, after that he is going to heal his uh, wound or uh, cure his hand, hand sorry and uh, also he resists or he stop against his pain he never make uh, the pain overcome him or stop him from completing his fight and he said one of the most important sentences in the in his uh, story it is not bad he mean his hand his left hand it is not bad he said and pain does not matter to a man again here we have a, uh, the idea of the manhood and heroism because man is supposed to be a hero not necessarily to be a noble birth you yani to be a king or a prince or from rich high family no you to be a man to be a, a hero uh, you're supposed to have a hero fighting against your enemy when he said enemy you know the enemy not necessarily to be a man or wicked man against you no, even the difficult situations, even the uh, bad circumstances you find themself within, you're supposed to fight them till the end, never stop and make those difficulties overcome you, never uh, giving up and uh, you are going to be the loser. No, complete your fighting regardless to the result, because no way of escaping, no way of to stop this fighting. This is the idea of the manhood here, and uh, don't make the pain overcome you. The events now are going to change, because the fish is going to change its plan. What is Now the fish is going to make very big circles around uh, in, within the sea. And uh, Santiago never hold the lines, but actually he followed the fish. Uh, this is his own uh, plan that he, he went the fish to be closer to now the circle is very big he went the circle to be close to him and what and uh, to be the fish near the surface at least near the surface of the sea and hooked it or uh, struck it with his harbor now this is the what happened here we have a very direct struggle between the two the fish making circles close circle uh, circling slowly and the, uh, Santiago on, uh, only what only uh, following this fish never change the direction of his boat never hold the lines but he went to the fish either to jump on the sea or to be near the surface of the uh, sea and hook it by his harbor aroma this is the only one to be what to be uh, uh, to overcome the sea uh, sorry the fish now he become very weak he get tired uh, there is what uh, there is uh, all this and especially this very graph I think yes this very graph there is a marks on uh, on his face that uh, his skin his head is what is a uh, field fiant and daisy there is a spot of what uh, uh, what the dark spot uh, under his eyes and uh, all these are marks of what of 
heavy tired. He is really tired. Uh, all this indicates that he gets uh, his old man and he couldn't complete the fighting. Uh, but it is a very hero. He is spending three days fighting with a huge fish alone. This by itself is achievement. This by itself is what? Is a hero. So, and this is what uh, Santiago went actually. Uh, uh, feeling tired, this does not uh, stop him. Again, he returned to God. Look to this uh, paragraph mentioning uh, calling the God to help him to endure. Uh, as the hundred Hail Mary, there is so many uh, praying for Hail Mary and God to help him to uh, to be with him. Again, a reference to religion, reference to the religion in the 20th century. This is not a new information, I, th I think. And we talk about this information so many times. This man hold his own faith, his faith in the religion and in Christianity never shaped the faith he lived in the age where there is no real religion, no people believe in uh, the religion. Uh, what also, what do we have also is that now uh, the fish still makes circle around him uh, and the circle is going to be closer to him, uh, closer than before. Yeah, the, at the beginning he make a, a big or far uh, circle, now he is going to, I mean the fish is going to make close circle and uh, he could see the fish eyes he now in this very graph he there is a physical description of the sea as if he described them as if the fish is a king of the animal as similarly uh, uh, what uh, Santiago Santiago is what is the king of his own people is the king of the creature of this uh, of the sea uh, what he made he went the circle to be close close to him and in order to get the fish uh, easily and he said become a strong old man and uh, never hesitate nev never confused never afraid because this huge marlin is going to be close to you and he, uh, well, uh, look to the description of this fish is a glorious one uh, and what uh, don't be what don't be uh, hesitate or confused uh, in the next uh, cir circle, he uh, not uh, far away. It is still uh, far away, but he is what uh, he is going to make the next circle. I mean, the fish. He is waiting. Uh, Santiago waiting to the next uh, circles by the fish in order to be closer to him. And he could what he could uh, uh, he could uh, get the fish. Now this is day number four. Yeah, in the night. Uh, this is the uh, in the beginning of this lecture. This is the night. This is the uh, when he saw a dream of what of fish uh, or, or his village and the lion. In the begin uh, when the fish worked him up. This is day number four. Now we are still in the day number four, and this the uh, the change in the course of this struggle is that the fish is going to attack. Is going to change its direction. Yani not go in straightforward lines. No, it's going to make a circle around him. طبعا, the circle is an important symbol also. What is the symbolism of the circle? That this man is surrounded by the danger or surrounded by the difficulties. And as we said, he treat them, those difficulties heroically. And he fight against the difficulties in a very heroic manner. Never stop and never giving up. Always he tried to use his mind, use his logic, use his vast information and knowledge and wisdom. So this is the idea of making circles. The circles are going to closer to him than before. Actually, we can imagine that Santiago represents to every one of us. And the Marlin, uh, sorry, Marlin uh, itself that whatever harsh uh, reality or uh, harsh situation you are going to face in this life, this is the idea that you're supposed to be like uh, Santiago. Even if your enemy is glory, even the, if this, yani if you face serious problems, you're supposed to face them, try to solve them, because escaping is not uh, the good solution for you. It is not a good choice for you. You're supposed to have your what? To wake up your mind, to use your logic, apply the logic on the whatever problem you find, 
make a plan and achieve this plan step by step in order to what to face the problems uh, that you uh, get in this life this is the idea of the struggling between uh, Santiago and uh, Marlin because every one of us is Santiago actually and every uh, whatever difficult situation you find it is the Marlin itself uh, now we are supposed to stop here students and next lecture we are going to discover what happened for the uh, Santiago when the fish uh, come close to him and make the circle very very close to him. Uh, thank you very much students. This is the end of our lecture.